What's good guys, LBF back here, back again with another Vans review. And today we're taking a look at the OG Old School LX from the Yoshida & Co. Porter collaboration. I believe colorway on this is forest green black ink, but don't quote me on that. Size 13 and I think retail was 90 on these old schools. Comes in this crazy drawer style box with the orange guts. The box itself is forest green, checkerboard pretty much throughout. You got the vault logo embossed on the front there. Big graphic on the top of the box, also embossed. The Vans hit, the Porter hit, Vans on the back. The dust bag with this one is pretty crazy. I've never seen a dust bag like this, but it's pretty much like, like the thinnest nylon you can think of. I mean, this stuff is, is like tissue paper, um, but it says Yoshida & Co with the Porter hit. Tokyo, Japan, and then the drawstring is the checkerboard lace that comes with the shoe. It's pretty rad. This collection is supposed to drop on February 20th, I believe. This collection consisting of four different shoes. There were two pairs of the OG old school, one pair of OG skate highs and a pair of OG slip-ons. Most of the shoes in the pack pretty much featuring the same color palette with the forest green and the orange hits, but there was one pair of black old schools, which had the orange accents on it as well. Um, this one was definitely my favorite in the collection just because of the forest green, of course. I'm sure you guys know I love green, so that was an easy one for me. And the old school, I just feel like totally fit this collection uh, the best, at least with all the different accents on it. Not to mention, I don't really have many old schools, so. Um, definitely had to cop this one. Um, Porter, if you guys aren't aware, is a a company that's owned by, or I guess was started by Yoshida & Co, which has been around since like the 30s. It's a Japanese luggage manufacturer. And so they have this company, Porter, um, who makes some amazing bags, definitely some top quality stuff. Um, and definitely not to be mistaken with Mr. Porter, which is just another uh, brand that uh, happens to carry Vans Vault. Uh, Porter is a totally separate company um, based out of Japan. But yeah, collaborating in honor of their 85th anniversary. So these guys have been around for quite some time. There's definitely a lot of details going on with this shoe, uh, which I absolutely love. The asymmetric design as well. Always unique. When it comes to the patterns here, you do see a different print on each quarter of the shoe. So on the left shoe here, we have the Loha print on the lateral side with the like abstract checkerboard on the medial. And then with the right shoe, you got the regular checkerboard on the lateral with the palm leaf print on the medial. So uh, definitely cool, a different print on each. I actually didn't even really notice that until actually seeing these in person. I thought it was just gonna be the checkerboard with the Aloha. But yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Of course, one of the coolest parts about the shoe, the Velcro jazz stripe on the side here. Not the first time that we've seen this. We have seen this um, several times before. This is the first pair that I've had with the Velcro jazz stripe, but you'll notice that it's only on the medial side. On the outside here, it's just your regular leather jazz stripe here. But you got that orange hit on the Velcro there, which is pretty cool. Just very subtle. The orange accents on the shoe are definitely subtle. You got the off-the-wall originals heel tab and the outsoles in orange. And then of course the inside here, we got the pigskin lining on the collar here in that leather. And then the vinyl line heel tab or the heel insole, I should say, uh, with the Porter hit on the top there. And then originals on the bottom. The rest of it is line and checkerboard. I don't know if you guys can see that. So careful if you're wearing these with white socks because they might get pretty blacked up. Um, the laces are unique as well. So of course, checkerboard laces, not the first time we've seen it, but it's not often that you see the checkerboard laces. And these are actually off-white to match the solid off-white foxing. The extra ones though, you got some orange checkerboard. So that's pretty cool. The shoelaces do have black aglets on the end, so also giving it a slightly different touch. The orange laces also with the same. On the side of the jazz stripe here, we do see a little Vans flag 
which is cool because I feel like you really only see the flag on the side of old schools on like pros. I don't know if they've been doing this like often. I honestly haven't really been paying attention to old schools um, when it comes to the vault releases, but yeah, seeing a little flag on the side is pretty rad. And then you even have on the reverse of it, I don't know if you guys can make this out because it's pretty subtle, but it says Porter there in black. So that's pretty cool. The entire upper of the shoe is basically that forest green color, except for, of course, the prints, which are like a darker gray pattern. Um, suede quality on these is, I'd say it's good. It's definitely better than fair. It's not amazing, but it's it's good. Of course, we see the suede on the toe box, the eye stay, the tongue, heel counter. And then the rest of the shoe is just going to be in the canvas on those quarter panels. These should be available at select vault retailers. All four of the shoes in this pack were pretty rad. Like I said, I think the old schools were probably my favorite. I did really like the slip-ons as well. The only thing about the slip-ons was they had that porter patch, which I totally forgot to mention. We have under the tongue here. This patch was also under the tongue on the slip-ons, but you could see the stitching on the top of it because it was canvas. So not totally down with that. Um, I think we saw the same thing on the Stussy OG slips from years back. Nevertheless, just this collection is amazing. There's also some luggage that released um, like a carrying bag that was, it was pretty heavy on the, the retail price. I think it was like 400 plus. Um, so if you guys got that kind of cash uh, to spend, I would definitely grab it. It was a it was a dope bag. Has some of the same prints on here, and then also in that forest green color, there was also a luggage tag that was checkerboard, and then a, a Velcro wallet, I believe. I don't know what kind of wallet it is, but a smaller checkerboard wallet. Um, of course, them being a luggage company, definitely had to add some some luggage pieces into the collection. But yeah, there you guys have it. This is the Porter times Vans Vault collab. Be sure to stay tuned for these at your local vault dealers, February 20th. Hope you guys enjoy the review. These do fit you to size, by the way. OG silhouette, pretty much the standard. And be sure to stay tuned for the on feet.